guys, Joe Doyle, Education and Engagement Curator here at White Labs Asheville location. Joining me today is my friend, Nate Smith. Hey guys, I'm Nate Smith. I'm the Curator of Culture across the street at Wicked Weed Brewing. Let's get into this beer that you have so kindly brought. What do we have here? What is in your glass, Joe, is Pernicious. That's our American IPA. It's our flagship beer. Last couple of years has been about 50% of our production. Super approachable, yet complex. That is hard to do, but this beer definitely achieves that. We've got 11 different varieties of hops in this beer. So <laughs> lots of beautiful ingredients in this beer. Very, very approachable, very mm. bubbly and nice and refreshing. We get some people that, you know, they drink sparkling wine. They generally don't like IPAs, except for pernicious. But with the awesome tropical hop quality to this beer, there are a lot of full on hop heads that are our regulars, and this is still their favorite IPA. Um, so it kind of runs the gamut of approachable to complex. It has a massive hop character. It's got a really clean fermentation profile. It's common when brewing American style hoppy beers to use a neutral ale yeast and our WLP001, California ale yeast, is the most common. It really accentuates these hop flavors and aromas. It attenuates really well, even for high gravity beers. The strain has the ability to be used in pretty much a wide variety of ales, ranging from IPAs to porters to even Kolsch's. Yeah, the, the yeast in this beer is, is so perfect because it does a great job, super well attenuated, nice, crisp, clean flavor, but it doesn't get in the way of the hops because this is a hop showcase vehicle. So why is fermentation important to you? And your customers. Fermentation is at the <laughs> core of literally everything we do at Wicked Weed, except for maybe the clothes we make. Um, yeah, fermentation. You know, we are a craft brewery. Uh, we've made over 700 different recipes over the last eight years. We even have a fine dining restaurant, Cultura, that is inspired by the art of fermentation, whether that's fermented food itself, fermented beverages from a wide range. We're going to start releasing at Cultura naturally fermented wine. So we're super inspired by the process of fermentation and use that as a creative starting point for a lot of what we do. Most importantly though, the beers. I think people in the beer scene are really, really into hops. Yeah. That's kind of like the, the ingredient that everybody focuses on. And that's great. Mm -hmm. I work for Wicked Weed, of course. I love hops too. But being able to talk about the importance of yeast and fermentation, the importance of malt as the building block for beer is super fun. And I think our customers really enjoy that new take. When you can show someone the difference mm -hmm. that just, but simply using a different yeast strain and the same recipe of beer with everything else being equal, you can have a very different experience. I feel like when you're teaching people about alcohol, you're kind of giving them the reins to understand their palate, what they like totally. and why they like it. Totally. And they can have a way better time with it. So that that is a real feel good moment for us. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> Uh, I really want to thank you for joining me today and chatting. My pleasure, Joe. You know, fermentation with friends. I want to thank you for joining us as well. And if you have any questions for myself or for Nate, feel free to comment below. Until Drop. next time, cheers. Cheers, y'all.